Hey everyone, you got five minutes with Tina. It's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get real crazy. Buckle up. Just kidding, of course, I'm not that crazy. I'm the good amount of crazy, not like <laughs> nice kind of crazy that everyone wants. Um, uh, maybe, I don't know, self-realization. Anyways, back to what I'm here for. I wanna share a quick story with you guys. Recently, someone came and asked me, hey, could you show me how to do something? And it's something I'm fairly good at. I, I'm pretty quick when I do it, I have a great time. I spent a long time studying how to do it on my own, so I'm not super great, but I could never compete. I'm not that great, but I'm, I'm okay. And I realized as soon as I was trying to show them something, I had no words. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to start. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to teach them. And I was so confused because it's something I know how to do, but I don't know how to do if that makes sense. And so my mind doesn't know how to do it. But guess what guys, jazz hands. My hands know how to do it. And that was a little freaky at first. And then I realized, you know what? God's design, muscle memorization, this is the beauty of how God works. We don't have to, we don't have to remember how to do something if we spend enough time doing something. Our body will remember and retain the knowledge of how to do it even when our mind fails us. So this is one of those instances and moments where I really got to see the beauty of God's design. So Rubik's Cube guys, love them. One of my favorite things. Somebody came and said, hey, can you show me how to do it? Because I know you know how to do it. And I was like, yeah, no problem. Turns out I don't know how to do it, um, but I do. And so when I get to this point, I can't even tell someone, this is the last step. There's only a few more steps and you will be done. You're almost done at this point. You just need to do a few moves. I don't know what to do, but if I just close my eyes and let my body do it and start not thinking about it, then it's easy and then I'm done. And so solved. That's weird, right? That's awesome. So what I had to do is to watch my hands and take notes. And it took me hours to take notes of what my hands were doing so that I could remember how to do it so I could tell someone else how to do it. So as I was processing this weird phenomenon, I realized that it is so awesome. And scripture like Psalms 119.11, where it says, I have hidden my, your word in my heart that I might not sin against you, makes so much more sense. Because when something becomes a part of you and you've taken something in and you've been a good steward in at least getting it into you, it remains there. And there's a truth that we live out even if we don't always know it. And so that scripture meant more to me in that in the moment when I realized there's truth to that. I have hidden your word inside my heart that I might not sin against you. It's a beautiful safeguard, a beautiful demonstration of how when we take time to take something in and be diligent about it, it becomes a part of our DNA. It becomes a part of who we are. It's just in the existential moment, we are a part of it and it is a part of us and it's great. But something else I learned out of that is that while great, I can naturally do these things and I live out of this place of truth. That's only for me. But we're all called to disciple, right? We're all called to, to teach and train and do something and to pass on what we've been given to impart something, to release the thing that God has shown us, a truth and uh, uh, that, that he has shown us to give that away. But if we haven't been good stewards of going back to that thing, and, and continuing to meditate on it and continuing to, to read it out and continuing to sit in it and continuing to live in it, then we lose the language to be able to pass that on to somebody else. And so I learned out of that moment that if I am not going back and revisiting and retraining and taking it in and doing it again and starting to process over and over something, while it will be there on some level and my body will know it, I will not be able to pass it and give it away. And so my challenge and, and thought process and realization and revelation, whatever you want to call it, is for us to look at the things in our lives that we have just let be because it's just, yeah, I know, I know, I know, but we're not really living it out in a way that we can reproduce it and give it away. 
consistently, that we have lost language for, that while we know it, sometimes we don't know how to talk about it because we haven't spent enough time in it. And whether it's the Word or whether it's the presence of the Father or whatever it is, that we would just take the time to go over and over and be good stewards of what we've been given and to be able to pass on the things that we need to pass on to others and not stop this thing that we're all called to do. So that's all I have for you guys today. A weird, weird thing that happened to me that really woke me up to a realization that I need to be better at what I've been given. And I need to sit and mull it over and I need to reproduce it. I need to take it in over and over again so that I don't lose language on how to teach, how to pass it on, how to equip, how to build, how to release. So hope it's helpful. Appreciate you guys. I make a lot of noises. I make a lot of hand gestures. You're welcome. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.